Hey, Howie here from Sick to Fit. I want to talk briefly about why it's important to pivot from goals to values. So the first thing is goals are very important. They're very useful because they set the direction. They will initially motivate you and tell you what you need to do to get there. So if you don't have goals, you say, well, I just want to be healthier. Well, what does that mean? How would you know when you're there? If you don't know that, you don't know what you're supposed to do and you don't know how to measure your progress along the way. So you could end up, you know, losing a bunch of weight, but discovering that the way you're eating is actually making your high blood pressure worse or your diabetes or giving you less energy. So you really want to be able to define where you want to get to. Very, very important. But once you're there, once you have a definition, it's important to take your focus off the goal and move it to values. So here's what I mean by that. Imagine that your goal is to get to the summit of a mountain, to be standing at the top. That's great. So now you know what mountain it is. You know how hard it is. You know how hard you have to train. You know what route you need to take. You know what equipment you need. You know what you need to practice. And once you're there and you have all that information, now you focus on your steps, on what you're going to do, where this crampon goes, where the where you put the python into the rock, what step you take left or right here. What do you do when it starts raining or snowing, where you pitch your tent, what you cook for dinner? All right. If you're focused on the top of the mountain, you can't do any of that effectively. So part of it is just focusing on the here and now. Now, when we're talking about health behaviors or to say you want to lose 30 pounds in a healthy way, then we're talking about specific things you have to do. You have to say no to certain desserts, certain foods. You have to move in certain ways. You have to make decisions on a regular basis that are different from the decisions you've been making so far. So that's where values comes into play. Because if you're trying to, if you wake up in the morning and you're like, okay, what am I going to have for breakfast? Eggs on toast with bacon or a bowl of oatmeal with blueberries and um, cinnamon. In that moment, the eggs and bacon may seem much nicer. It may be yummier. It may be what you're more familiar with. It might be very comforting. The smell might be great. And you're going to have to, in that moment, call upon something to make the harder decision to do the thing that you're less likely to do. That's not maybe it's not the default. Maybe you're not used to it. Maybe you haven't cooked oatmeal a lot or maybe you don't like it as much as eggs and bacon. So if you think about the summit, which is what people say to do, think about your goal at that moment. Well, your goal is far away in the future and you're not there now. So you're actually focusing on the gap between where you are and where you want to be, which is kind of a bummer. It's a negative. It's a kind of self criticism. So instead of thinking about the future way out there, the thing that you're going to want and you may get to someday, let's bring it into the here and now. And that's where values come in, because the question is, who do you have to become to achieve that goal? Who do you have to be to summit that peak? And by that, I mean, what will drive you in that moment when you have to choose between oatmeal and eggs and bacon? Instead of thinking about, well, I'll be 30 pounds lighter and I'll fit into a size four or whatever, think about who do I have to become to achieve what I have not yet achieved? What are the values of being and doing that I value? So one is I value consistency. I value not being up one moment or down the next, for example, or I value courage. I value the willingness to feel uncomfortable while I make a new choice that maybe I'm not so familiar with. Or I value honesty. And to be honest with myself in this moment means to acknowledge that I could give in to the eggs and bacon and tell myself that it's okay. It's just one meal. It's not going to make a big deal. But I know that's not true. 
because every single decision I make is that same amount of big deal or not. So to be honest with myself means that I'm not going to lie to myself and make excuses or make exceptions. So as soon as you have your goal, see, seeing yourself at the peak of that summit, seeing yourself 30 pounds thinner, seeing yourself um, with a normal um, blood sugar or blood pressure. Now, think about who do I have to be in the moment? What are the values that I commit to that are important to me, that are part of who I am, that I may not fully embody at this moment, but I strive to? Because those are the values that can guide you right now. You don't have to wait six months or a year or five years till you're at the top of the mountain. You get to embody those values right now. So that's why I say once you have chosen your goal, think about who you want to be, the values you want to express through your life to achieve that goal, and you can live those values in the moment. You can choose any moment to live those values, and living those values is itself a dopamine rush, is itself reinforcement that you're doing the right thing, and it can cascade so that every time you choose your values, you make it easier for you to choose your values next time, you make it more likely, and that's true motivation, not someday motivation, not I'll be happy when motivation, but I am content now at the person that I choose to be. Hope this helps. Take care, bye.